Hey, Mirren lives here, doesn't she? We're here to see her. You will leave at once. It is not allowed for humans to walk on these grounds. We'll go as soon as we've seen Mjern. If you can find her. We're not leaving until you let us see her. Hmm. Fine then. We'll look for her ourselves. Ah. I've heard the voice of the wood. She says Mjern is not in the village. Jote, where has she gone? Why do you ask? The wood tells us where she has gone. Or can you not hear her? You cannot. Your ears are dull from hearing their harsh speech, I think. Viera, who have abandoned the wood, are Viera no longer. Mjörn, too, has left her embrace. And you forsake them in turn? It is the will of the village. Viera must live always with the wood. So is the green word, and so is our law. We'll let you worry about keeping your laws. Just do us a favor and stay out of our way. We'll find her ourselves. Our sister has left the wood and gone west. She wanders warrens among men who hide themselves in clothes of cold iron. Thus to me has the wood spoken. The Viera may begin as part of the wood, but the wood is not the only end we may choose. The same words I heard fifty years ago. Not bad, Vaughn. Didn't think we'd get any information out of that one. So then, what was she saying about men in a warren? The Henemagicite mines. Maybe that's what she meant. They lie in Bangor, south of the Osmoan Plain. The entire region is a colony of the Arcadian Empire. There would be soldiers. Is that a problem? Let's move. Fran. Yes? I was wondering... What Yote said, you know? About how you said the same thing 50 years ago? Your point? Uh, how old were you again? Ah, uh, nice fun. Oh, surprisingly rude. Try to grow up, please. <laughs> <laughs> 